at the time I didn't fully understand it, but I was doing all the exercises, listening to all the records and stuff. And then maybe two or three years later, everything clicked and I heard Max Roach again on, you know, Drums Unlimited, that record. And then everything I sort of, it was almost like he was giving me a foundation in jazz drumming and I just didn't know about it. And then when I hit about 16, everything clicked. I was like, oh, I get it now. I, you know, I'm playing jazz, I'm seeing jazz. So my name is Moses Boyd. I do a lot of different things centered around music, but as simply as I put, I like to make music in just various different forms, you know. about 13 uh, I got involved in drums at my secondary school so like high school and from then on it just clicked it's like this is what I want to do didn't really have an idea of how that would look or what it was but I just knew I wanted to play drums whilst I was doing that I was always writing my own music learning about production, how to record a drum kit, how to record a guitar, uh, making beats and things like that. So I heard a lot of different styles prior to jazz and grew up with a lot of different styles. So when I did start making my own music under the jazz umbrella, I was infusing all of that. Yamaha for me was like just always so consistent. Wherever I was in the world, um, the drums just were always, they always sounded so good through the stage, the PA, and just to play myself. And that was like my first sort of experience playing things like the Yoke Custom, the Stage Custom, and all those different kits I'd seen like Steve Gadd or, you know, these different people play, uh, Dave Weckl, and then having to play them now on stage and requesting them on my riders, you know, it was for me, that was like, where I kind of got introduced to them and then started going in studios and doing sessions and seeing different Yamaha kits. So for me, it was always my preference, you know. The best way I could explain them, we were doing a show last week, not far from here. And the club had like one of the best hi-fi systems, function ones, stu you know, speakers. And they, they, they're just like, acoustically, they almost sound hi-fi, you know, it's like, the minute it went through the PA and the engineer's eyes just lit up, he's like, I never heard a kick drum so clean and I haven't had to do anything, you know, straight out of the box, you know, just put a head on it. It just sounds so clear and crisp. You can tell like the dedication of the, the, the craftsman that it takes so long to make. It's, it's really evident in when you play them and how they resonate in a room through speakers, you know, the, the sort of attention to detail for me is just really amazing. I do a lot of different music and I feel like their drums are just really diverse, you know, in how you can tune them, they're quite open, you know, the sound of the actual drums themselves can be really flexible, you know, in any situation, so, yeah. So I'm using the PHX model, 20-inch um, bass drum, 10, 12, 14, 16 toms, and um, the Yamaha recording brass snare drum, 14 by six and a half, I think it is, yeah. I'm really for letting drums ring and sound how they should sound, you know, and responded according to that dynamic. So the way I was playing was trying to really just demonstrate the broad spectrum of the kit from a tonal aspect, really messing with like melodies on the toms and things to really get a sense of how each drum sounds and then kind of taking that through different styles, but really just try to utilize all the drums. Yeah, I love my PHX. <laughs> and it looks beautiful, man. It's like one of the best looking kits.